All right, um, hi guys. Um, if you're watching this video, that's cool, because I'm, I'm sure this, is, this type of content is not very interesting to some people, but, but, but for me, uh, it, this is something that excites me, all right? So, well, I'm just going, in this video, I'm just going to show you so, uh, one of the, yeah, yeah, this, this project right here that I'm currently working right now, it's not yet, uh, hundred percent complete but it's already working all right so I'm gonna talk first about the uh, uh, the the interface of the website right here the front end okay uh, this is a school website and my idea um, on how a school website should look like all right so uh, yeah everything here that you see I, I actually coded it from scratch all right I used bootstrap HTML and CSS for the for the front end all right so i'm gonna be talking about here the, not, you have here the first the header part you will see the uh school uh, logo and then the tagline right there all right so you can edit we can customize that uh whatever the name or the logo of the school is and the uh, the one on the right right over here is normally the school have their partners all right so that's an option to put another logo right here for the partner or, or for their affiliate and the tagline of their uh, partner as well. And the one that's gonna show you here right here is the, this one right here is, that's the called carousel um, or the slider. So this is the part where the school should probably um, feature their unique programs, uh, all right? Just for example, they have a robotics program or anything like that okay and this part right here will, will have the title of the program uh, a, um, a brief description and an action button right here okay and when the user clicks it should route to another page uh, to show more about the detail of that particular uh, information and when we scroll down a bit right over here is the um, news and update i believe this is the uh one of the major part that the school website should have because uh they will be able to put an announcement as you can see right here you will see the the name of the one of the the one who posted the article the date when it was posted and the icon right here that looks like an eye yeah it's an eye um it uh, it will count uh, the number of visit that this particular post has all right so for example I'm gonna click on read more okay it's now eight let me just go back so right now it's eight as you can see I'm gonna zoom it in a little bit all right so you can see when I click read more it should be nine there you go it's nine we go back to the page See, it's already nine. When we when we try to visit one more time, see it it it, it will increment one every time that the uh, article is being visited by the user, right? I'm gonna zoom it back to the normal view. So that's what we have here on the uh, on the main uh, main section of the website. All right. So on the right side bar here, you will see the post categories allowing users to filter what type of announcement. Uh, that will load on this web page and the archive here allowing users to visit uh, previously uh, posted articles or announcements okay and some links right here post a concern uh, it, it, it it's something that serves like a suggestion box all right and right here they have buttons newer post older post right now we only have three posts later I'm gonna be demonstrating uh, I will be adding one more post using the back-end functionality of this website um, that I'm going to show you in a little bit. Um, right here is uh, I this uh, older post will be enabled if we already have uh, three more, three, I mean, like four or more posts. Right now it's only three. So it, it's, it, it, this button right here is, is not clickable. All right. So at the bottom right here is the, like, this one is the footer before the footer we have here like a section that will displays um, some links we can customize that according to 
the needs for, for a particular school, all right? And then a video right here. I just put here the my own video just for demonstration purposes, all right? So, but we can put any video right here and it can be changed using the the admin panel that I'm going to show you a, uh, a little bit later. All right, so I think that's it for the interface. Uh, I'm trying to make this video as short as possible. So I'm gonna go ahead and click this login. This login is not for the users. This is for the school or the school personnel, perhaps their uh, IT uh, personnel or maybe their um, editor-in-chief or writers, okay? So this is, this is the this is where they log in to manage the website. Okay, so right now I'm gonna go ahead and log in using the um, an account that I created for, for when I was making this website. I believe this is okay, John Doe. All right, password. Sorry about that. Oops. I forgot the password them. Maybe this one will work. Yeah, as you can see, I, I we, there's a functionality where if you forgot your or you uh, you forgot your password, it will say login failed. I just thought that red. Uh, yeah, normally it's red, but I just wanted to to make you know. I think that's. Uh, I just want to make a different design where the error is not red, right? So it's a green. So I'm gonna go ahead and click sign in. All right, this is the uh, the back end uh, part of the website. This is where you the, the school will be able to manage their uh, their their website. And I'm gonna be talking about the ma the the post. You know, um, uh, for the school to be able to 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 post announcement. On, uh, on the uh, front of the web website all right so right over here i'm gonna click on manage post it will display all the posts that we see on the website as you can see right here for example this one right here is a requirement for enrollment it is right over here requirements for enrollment and the content is here the 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 uh, update on space exploration i just made that up uh it's right over here okay so the functionality on this page is uh, uh, that you can view the, for example, you're going to view this Nutrition Month Celebration post. If you click on view, it will open up on a new tab and you will see the post itself. Right? So it has text, the title right here, the date, the number of times it was viewed by a user, the author who made the post, and some text right over here. All right. So I'm going to close this one going back to the dashboard so aside from view you can edit a particular post for example this requirements for enrollment i created here an edit functionality when you click that it goes uh, right here into this page as you can see this is the part where you will be able to edit the content of the site so i'm going to demonstrate to you that the title all right so this is the requirements for enrollment so it should be here I'm gonna change the title for this one. So I'm gonna say requirements for enrollment. Mm, maybe let just type some text updated. So if I, and this one right here, number four, maybe let's make, let's make another number, All right? Number five, I'll just paste a text. So it's supposed to be a number four only. And now I, I, we put here a new data just to show you that it will update on the site. So I'm gonna click on update. There's a button here, update. Post content updated. Okay, you can click here, view post. When you click that, okay, look at that. Requirements for enrollment now, that this is the new text that we just made earlier. And then look at that, uh, num number five. That's the, 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 that's the, the additional data that we have entered earlier. All right, so uh, going back here, gonna close this window that I've opened um, going back to manage post so uh, you can also change for example you're going to change the picture of this one um, we can click on edit I'll change the yeah, yeah here right here you have a button to change the picture so you can choose a file 
let's see if we have a pictures here all right so where are my pictures here hold on all right here for example this one okay and then I'm gonna change the title to let's say uh, sports program and then I'll change the category to sports and then click on update there you go and we click view post you see we change the picture and the title when we go back to the home page earlier this one was a picture of an astronaut and the title was space exploration now it's now a sports program and yeah we have successfully changed it all right so we have that kind of functionality that i also built from scratch so of course delete um yeah l let's see all right i'm going back to home page we're going to delete this uh, post right here yeah i forgot to mention earlier on the on the front end i also made a, like a little fancy feature where you when you hover the picture it like zoomed in yeah something like that it's zoom in uh slowly just to give a little effect make it more lively so anyway uh, we're going to demonstrate deleting a post so i'm gonna delete this one for example requirements for enrollment updated so we see it right here this one so i'm gonna click on delete and we have this functionality are you sure you want to delete this post requirements for enrollment updated so it displays the title of the post that you're going to delete all right so i'm going to post uh, i'm going to press on delete there you go the confirmation post deleted and now we only see three posts and we go ahead and click visit the site now we only have two posts all right so let's go ahead and add a new post so I have your add new post, click that. Um, I'll just type here demonstration purposes only. I'll click a category, for example, announcement. I'll pick a picture. And let's just generate some text. All right. OK. Um, all right, I'm going to copy all everything here. Okay, so it's just like the Microsoft Word, you know, very, very easy to, this is where you type the article. And then uh, you have, let's go ahead and click Submit. All right, we have your dra cancel, draft, uh, cancel is very obvious, draft, submit. I'm going to show you the draft functionality later. So I'll just go ahead and click on Submit. New post has been added. Let's see, if we go to Manage Post, uh, this is the one that we just uh, posted all right demonstration purposes and then we go ahead and click view on the site as you can see it's already there and the text that we just that we uh, pasted we go back to the home page of the site and we can see that's the latest post all right it, it's sh it's showing up at the top of the uh, other posts i'm gonna be uh, demonstrating you now the draft draft is uh you know is, is is when you create a post but you do not want to publish it yet all right so well, you'll just you're gonna save it within the admin panel i have a draft here look at no data no data available in the table um and uh, but it will not show up on the website all right for example you're you're it's a long article and you just want to save it but do not want to publish it um uh, you can just click the drop button right here. Okay, it's a functionality. So uh, this is actually the, the, the site, all right? So you can see here, update draft. I just collapse it when you, when you see there's a bunch of code right here for updating the draft, all right? So yeah, I just want to show you that I really built it from scratch. So, so you can see there are th this, these are the codes, some of the codes of the website. It's a lot of them. It's, it looks crypt, cryptic, even even to me. <laughs> All right, so uh, so we're gonna be creating a draft. So uh, draft post. Oh, let's make something. For example, um, graduation uh, program. I don't know. Um, academics. Let's choose a file. What? 
picture how about this one just for demonstration purposes let's copy this text paste it right here how about let's put some picture right? I'm gonna put a picture here in the middle is a an image icon here okay let's choose a file how about this one okay you, c you can resize the picture here I'm gonna set it to 800 pixels width then click OK as you can see there's a picture text uh, picture and then another text I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and save click draft there you go draft draft save you can click here go to drafts you, can, you click that see we, we we have now one draft it's it's different from the post which is right here we also have draft uh, table right over here so the title is graduation program if we're going to check the site refresh it you don't you don't see it here yet all right because it, it was a draft Right, so it was a, a, a functionality that I that I built that will allow um, uh, editor in chief or writers to 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 save their to save their work first, even without having to publish it yet. Okay, so um, here they can delete it or edit it. So if if you're going to resume working on this particular post, just click edit, right, and it it it, it brings you back to this page. You can change the picture if you want to. All right, it will update later when we when we click uh, update. As you can see, that's the new picture. And look at that, the notification draft updated and image cover change detected. All right, so uh, uh, we're going to change the title graduation program. How about um, um, distribution of supplies? I'm gonna change that let's say supply the category and then uh, update all right so it's updated now but w when you're done working with the draft you can see there's a submit button right over here when you click that it will now be published on the site okay it will show up right over here so let's see I'm going to click on submit there you go new post has been added from drafts okay so when we click draft you don't that the post is already it's not showing up here anymore all right um when we go to manage post it's right over here and when we go to view the website there is already our our post okay you can see it now uh there's like a preview of the first um a few uh, sentences of the paragraph and when the user click read more uh it it will bring the user into this page where, where they will be able to see the entire article all right so uh, that's cool right so uh, yeah um, so manage post um, drafts so far those are the, ma the major uh, functionalities that that uh, a, a website should have and of course uh, uh, we, uh, I told you earlier about the uh, older posts look at that earlier it was disabled but right now we already on, on by default there are only three uh, uh, articles that will show up on the home page but um, when it's like four or more th this button right here will will show up okay it will be enabled okay uh, there's a program there's th th there's already a code for that one so when we click older post when a user click older post it will show up the next uh, post all right so in the and the newer post look at that this one's already disabled because this is the last post uh, that the that we that we have but uh, you but the newer post is now enabled so when we click click that one it goes back right here so all right older post there's one if we will try to uh, make another post it will show up here let's see i'm gonna make another post um another post all right and then Let's just choose a random picture here and put some image right over here I mean text and then click on submit okay new post has been added look at that another post and then let's go back here look at that. another post okay Jerome Morales and there's new view we read more and you see the entire article all right now when we click older post now we see two posts right over here 
all right so and i'm gonna show you as well i'm gonna go ahead to users okay these are the current users you can add users here for example i'm gonna make for um let's say mary um smith <laughs> um yeah mary smith email mary.smith at gmoreapp.com password you can put the password here let's make her the editor uh, let's choose a photo how about this one submit uh, there's a new user has been added you can see there's mary all right this is the login and the user type is editor so i'm gonna log in as mary just just uh, for demonstration purposes so i'm gonna click right here and then log out so that's mary that's smith i'm gonna type the password all right as you can see the picture is updated that's already mary smith and also right over here and he can make the changes as well all right he can post manage post um create categories categories is you know um yeah, the category for the post if it's about sports academics you can add something right here if you're gonna be all right if you're gonna be adding for example technology i'm gonna show you that that this part right here is actually dynamic all right as you can see there's there's no technology right here so i'm gonna be adding technology submit okay new category has been added I'm gonna add one more about music submit okay we have music and technology so I'm gonna refresh the website here when you click the post categories there we see already music and technology see th th this data here are dynamics as as well as this one so uh, this was posted by uh, yeah by that that's my name that's my account but I'm gonna be posting here as Mary Smith I'm gonna show you that that when Mary Smith uh, make the post, it will be under her name. All right, so I'm gonna make a new post. Say Mary's post. Okay, uh, extracurricular music probably. All right, I'm gonna put this picture right here and copy some text. All right, and then submit. All right, I submitted a post. Let's view the website. Look at that. This post was made by Mary Smith, as you can see right there. The date it was posted, and zero view yet for this particular post. If a user will click more or, or read the po read the post, when we go back here, look at that. Uh, it, it will uh, start counting how many uh, hits or visits that a particular post ha has. All right, so. Uh, over time, if 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 you if if you if you're using the site, you will be able to see like a trending post. Will you will you you will ha will you will see a lot of uh, count on the number of views for for a particular post. All right, that that's the basic idea of, of a trending post that that we have uh, that we see right now on uh, social media. All right, so uh, yeah, well, if you if you're a developer, you can see that there's still a lot of room of improvement that that we we, we can um do for for this website I, i'm just too excited to 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 talk about this and make a video on it all right so yeah yeah that's it uh, basically so um uh probably this is already like an 80 percent completed all right I, i'm gonna be adding some more this is not yet the ideal website that i'm that i have that I'm that I envision all right I, I still have a lot of plans on, on improving this website but basically as you can see the, the the essential functionality that you should have in a website you see it right here you have you have a content management system that you will be able to use uh, you don't you don't need you don't need a, a programming background once you have an account uh, created for you um, for example in the school yeah uh, in a pub in a public school they have like subject coordinators maybe every coordinator will will be created a particular account so probably if there's an update with their for example english or science they will be able to make an article for that and 
so that it will show up on the website right uh, a, 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 a website that is with, with, with a very good online presence um, is actually uh, uh, more interesting for, for users uh, when a user visit a, a particular site that w when they see that there's a recent activity and there's a regular regular update coming from the site um, is uh, is something uh, more interesting it, it, it becomes less interesting if the users don't see any update on the site which which implies that the site is not is not active and as well before I forget that this site is very uh, responsive I mean even if you will view it on uh, on uh, for example this one on mobile devices uh, devices that has a, s a smaller screen as you can see uh, it automatically adjusts the layout all right so for example in a in an iPhone it looks like this one all right, okay so it's still uh, readable all right the, the the navigation bar will adjust accordingly according to the size of your of your device of the user's device I actually recorded a um, I actually recorded an actual yeah o on my phone I recorded how it would perform so let me just show you right over here look at that that's how it looks like on an actual uh, smartphone the website see you can see the text are still uh, readable all right and yeah I think th that's it I think uh, I didn't expect that I'm gonna s I'm gonna be spending like m already more than like an half an hour um, doing the this presentation for this for this project and uh, if you made this far that's great <laughs> and thank you and um, if you like the content um, just hit the like uh, button on this video and subscribe alright peace